Hi there, welcome back to the next ClickSense tutorial video. And in this ClickSense tutorial, we will going to look at the min string function, which is uh, helpful in finding the first text based on the expression that we have specified and sorted over the number of records. So let's go ahead in the back end and try to understand this. So we have uh, these the small data set, which is having columns like sales group, team, date and amount and for these columns we have these values like east west and for team we have gamma zeta for date these are the dates for amount these are the amounts now if we say that uh, for each sales group we need to identify the first team based on their sorted order so if you see for east you have gamma for east you have alpha for east you have delta and for east you have beta so basically what it should return is basically the alpha as your output so let's see this in action so let's call it first string over here after first string colon load load sales group comma min string and team as minimum team just random name I'm giving whatever name you want as per your business scenario you can give it and then resident team data team data whatever you want to call data and uh, group by the sales group that is all what you need hit the save button load the data close this and come to analysis in the analysis let's create one quick table at the dimension for sales group add one more dimension to the main team column and you get alpha as i mentioned and for west you get epsilon so let's see for west for west we have values like zeta which should be the last value for west we have epsilon we have eta and uh, you have uh, sorry you have theta as well so epsilon if you see uh, because it is ep and it is et if you see so ep will come first because p q r s t so i'm going by that logic and because of that sort it first and that's why it is giving you this output so that's the output that you can get uh, as as i've shown you over here you can also get the date as the uh, first date for each of the sales group so just wanted to show you that not only on string it will apply on the date as well so what i want to do is i want to call the set date format equals to dd mm yyyy which is a date format of this and main string i will simply call date over here date is basically this date i'm referencing so hit the save button and i'll just check and mean that uh, my date format is disabled yes it is disabled so it will not conflict and now load it so if i close this come over here my minimum date or my first dates are basically the first uh, so this is first of may and this is first of june so let's see it in data so first may and first june then second may and then for east it's first november so definitely this is the lowest one and that's what we are getting for the output so it will work both on the string as well as on the date output or the date format as i mentioned but let me just quickly show you this also in the front end by adding a column and clicking on measure going into the expression editor and writing the minimum string and now let's just write team all right click apply and we get the minimum value what we got earlier before applying the date so that's about how you can implement the min string function both in the back end and as well as in the front end for your users so that's pretty much it for this video about min string and i'll meet you in the new video with a new click sense topic